Our first guest tonight is one of my favorites. You'll be able to see him soon in the movie North Hollywood. Please welcome Vince Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's, that's, what that's what I'm talking about here. Vince! Good to see you, man. It is always... Congrats on being back in the studio. Oh, thank you, buddy. Yeah, we got an audience. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. Like seeing a terrific dolphin released back into the ocean. It's yeah. nice to see. <laughs> that's exactly how I describe it, yeah. Well, you were with us uh, when we did our shows at home, and then uh, in the other studio, and now back in our, our original tonight show with an audience. So I appreciate you being a friend of the show. Thank you for helping us out, buddy. Yeah, great to be with you. Uh, did Are you, you glad uh, to be back? It's amazing. I mean, uh, yeah. to be honest, the first show we came back, I was a little bit too emotional <laughs> just coming out because yeah. I was like, I wasn't ready for it. I'm like, Phew, I got to tell jokes. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but now, now it's, it's the greatest. It's, it feels like we're slowly getting back to, to normal, you know, so it feels good. Yeah, for sure. It's nice to have a feeling about it that you like it. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks. Yeah. I, I was going to ask you, did you watch the Derby this weekend? Kentucky Derby? You know, I usually always watch the Derby. I, n I never miss it. But this year, because of kids' sports, I did miss the Derby. But I saw that Bob Baffert, who's a great trainer, that he had kind of a long shot that won. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I, I know. What, what do you have to take the kids? Are they in, playing uh, baseball or something? It's, yeah, that, well, there was a baseball game and a, and a soccer game, and there was traveling involved. We've talked about this. For some reason, you have to drive 35 minutes to play other nine-year-olds. It's a confusing process. <laughs> just... I don't understand. I don't, I don't under understand it, but I'm on, I, I'm on the train. It's not stopping, but I don't understand. <laughs> that, and, and, of course, they're playing probably two different fields and different times and all that stuff. And then you can't find them. I don't know which field is what. You don't, there's a field behind the field, and you didn't know about that, and people are in tears, and you're late, and it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's all complicated. But I'm glad we're playing. I'm grateful the kids are back playing sports, so no, no complaints. Now, did, now, did you enjoy the Derby? Was that an exciting? What happened that made this memorable for you? Uh, I enjoyed it. I love, I, I do, I, for me, watching horse racing reminds me of my childhood, because that, that was like a treat for us to go to like a smoky, OTB with a bunch of uh, alcoholics, <laughs> and you just let the kids run free, and uh, yeah, and Grandpa took me there and just bet on horses and just gambled, just people gambling, smoking had, cigarettes, and yeah. I had the same childhood. It was Arlington Park in Chicago, and my dad would always take me, and there was a group of kids that would play tag near the finish line. <laughs> My dad, my dad would let me pick horses, so there would be, he would give me $2 a race, and whatever we won, we would split if I won, and if I lost, we were even, so I couldn't complain about the setup. But, yeah. you know, you just pick the horses by name, and every now and then you'd hit a long shot. It felt like a nice day. I, uh, I don't know if I ever told you about my worst investment ever. Did I ever tell you about this? <laughs> no, please. So, this is not that far <laughs> long ago, but, it was, but anyways, I was on Siren Live, and I, this first time I was actually making real money, and some guy in my building said, hey, Jimmy, do you want to uh, invest in a racehorse? And I go, yes, of course. And so he's like, all right, I'll get you details later. And I go, oh, my God. I called my dad and my mom. I go, I'm going to invest in a racehorse. I'm going to own a, a, a horse that's going to, you know, so I'm like, this is going to be fantastic. And for, it was a lot of money for me. And uh, I called my business manager. He said, do not do this. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a waste of money. Don't even do this. Like, uh, I go, no, I got to do it. This is, I was raised. I have to. So I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the stables every day. I'm going to comb it. I'm going to brush its teeth. I don't care. I'm going to say, you are Sea Warrior, and you're going to win the Kentucky Derby. And so I call my friend after I made the investment, and he goes, I go, when do you name it? He goes, what do you mean? It's already named. You don't name the horse. It's named by, like, the sire of the, you know. I go, oh, what's the name of our horse? He goes, it's a Poco Bueno. <laughs> I go, Poco Bueno. I go, what does that mean? He goes, it means uh, a little bit good. <laughs> I go, what, why, who, why did we get mucho bueno? I mean, uh, I would have been happy with bueno. Regular bueno. I got poco bueno. And uh, I, went to, I went to OTB to see his debut, and I put some money on him with my friend. And uh, I came in uh, last place, and uh, I haven't seen him Is since. Claiming? Did you put him in a claiming race, or was it, did it get claimed? It was, yeah, it was, it was in a real, actual race. It was in yeah. the gate. I know that. 
But see, you, you just picture like winning things and like in the circle and crying and dreams coming true. But the reality is someone's got to feed the horse and the horse has to be washed. And there's a lot of expenses before uh, little good gets a chance to, little bit good gets a chance to race. <laughs> A little bit good and need lots, need lots of food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what I heard right now, he's an Uber driver. And uh, that's, that's what, what I heard. Is. That's what he does yeah. now. So he's but he's still... happy, Jimmy. He's happy. He's happy. Yeah, he doesn't like racing anymore. It's not his thing, you know? Uh, you have a movie coming out, uh, North Hollywood. Uh, yes. Uh, I, this is, who is, Mikey Alfred. Mikey Alfred, yeah, I did this movie. I like this young filmmaker. He's a young kid, and he comes from the skateboard culture, and he had, like, a coming-of-age movie. Um, and I was just really impressed with him. So I said that I would do the movie. So I, I'm glad that I did it. It's a nice little movie that he made. He's a first time director. And um, it's like this whole skateboarding uh, culture that was very interesting. Is it about his life? It is, it's sort of based on his life, yes. It's, it's sort of based on his, his kind of um, growing up skateboarding and making a decision to pursue that. Uh, Vince, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, you, you act in a lot of movies, you, you, you mm. uh, produce uh, movies, uh, mm. and I was wondering if you would play a game with me that is about... Yes, I'll play, a, I'll, play, I'll play a game as long as it doesn't uh, involve investing in, in horses or things of that nature. We'll talk okay. about that over the commercial break. We'll discuss. Okay. All right, good. Okay, More with good. Vince Vaughn.